For this introductory Scratch tutorial, we'll be making a simple application that adds two numbers together. You're going to click on Create when you're in Scratch. And the default sprite that shows up is this cat. I'm going to change my sprite by clicking on New Sprite. And I'm going to choose this dinosaur. Move it over to the side. I'm going to delete the cat sprite. And then I'm also going to add a backdrop. I'll choose the brick wall. So now we're, be we're ready to begin the code. So make sure that your sprite is selected over here and click on scripts. This is the scripts window will, where we will add all the blocks that contain the code. When you start a project, usually you have this block as your first starting block so that when this flag is clicked, the project will start running. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the looks blocks and have the dinosaur say, please give me two numbers and I will add them up. I will add them together. And then, so that will show up for two seconds in a speech bubble. And then I will say, press the space bar to begin. So we're going to go to events and choose this one space key is pressed, continue with the code. So when you make uh, at, or do any mathematical equation or calculation in a program, in any language, you need to have variables. And it's a good idea to have a variable for every number that you're going to be using. So for the equation for adding two numbers, you'll have number one plus number two equals the sum. So number one, number two, and sum are the three variables you're going to make. So you go to data and you make a variable. My first variable is going to be called number one. Click on okay. Make another variable. The second variable is going to be called number two. Click on OK. Make another variable. This one's going to be called sum. And click on OK. So now we have our three variables declared. What I'd like to also do is hide each of these variables to start off with so they don't see them over here. So I'm going to hide number one. And you can actually just duplicate that block. So it's a little easier. Hide number two. And again, I'm going to duplicate by right clicking on the block and hide the sum value just so it's not showing up in the corner over here. Or you could also uncheck them as well over here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and ask the user for their first number. So to do that, we'll go to Sensing, and I'm going to move the Ask block over, and I'm going to say, what is the first, actually, I think I'll say, enter the first number. Enter the first number, and wait. So what it will do is it'll wait for the user to enter their number. Now you're also going to need this answer block, so just move it over to here, and then go ahead and click on Data, and we're going to set number one, so you're going to click on this little pull down thing, and click on number one, and we're going to set it to the answer. So here's where you drag your answer block over into there. So whatever the user types into this, um, into the text box, it will be stored into the variable called number one. So now we can go and ask them for the second number. Enter the second number and wait. And again, you're going to need that answer block. We'll go to data. We'll set number two equal to the answer. Now we can add the two together. So what you're going to do is set the sum equal to, go to operators, drag the plus operator into this little box there. Go to your data, 
and we're going to put number one into there and number two right there. So it says set sum equal to number one plus number two. Now we're ready to display the answer to the user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to say the sum is and it's going to wait two seconds and then you can click on this block here and go to your data and drag the variable sum and just put it into there so it'll actually say whatever the value of sum is. Let's go ahead and try our application now. So you can see we click on the green flag, it waited two seconds and it says press the space bar to begin. So I'll click the space bar. I'm going to enter in three and the second number will be three. Press enter. The sum is six. So we've added two numbers together and displayed the answer to the user. Thank you and good luck.